All right, it's Thursday, November 10, and it's uh, a few days into my uh, quiet quitting of my job. Very soft quiet quitting, I want to say. And this, the quiet quitting came uh, after a number of things had come to a head. So I work at a tutoring center, and I love all of my clients. Don't get me wrong. I would never want to quiet quit on any of them. There are a few that are colorful characters that are difficult to work with, but even then, I, I love all the different characters involved. I can't say there's any particular client I want to quiet quit on. But the logistics of the job are a whole different story. So, for example, as you guys know, I'm a recovering eataholic, and um, one of the strategies I used in the past, and I, I'm returning to using, is um, to always ask myself, do I really need to eat what I need to eat? And um, if I'm not hungry, to, no, that can wait for later, right? And for the most part, during the time that we are working remotely, during the time of the lockdown, uh, for the most part, that I can eat it later uh, philosophy worked very well. It doesn't really work very well where I'm working right now. I often get shifts that are six, seven, eight, nine hours long, which is great, except that I get up in the morning, oh, I'm not really hungry. Oh, I gotta remember, I can't eat for nine hours. And it forced me to stuff my face various times when I wasn't hungry. And I really didn't like that part of the equation. I work at a tutoring center where it's not exactly, it, where it's not exactly okay to eat at my desk. And so I put up with it for many weeks. Now, one of my colleagues is um, with his family in Disney World right now, which is okay with me. I don't have any. I don't have it out against Disney World. What I do have a problem with is that my boss is very old-fashioned. He's been on the planet two, almost two and a half times longer than I have, and he he relates to Disney World. He's probably been to Disney World more times than he's viewed a lunar eclipse. He. Uh, He's from another part of the world. He probably got married when he was 14 years old. I'm just guessing. He's from a different part of the world where that's the norm. And he's probably never gone on a date by himself. Uh, I could, I, I'm going to guess, right? He has children. His, his children may or may not have ever gone on a date by themselves. But he, he, I would imagine he would not really approve of it. He'd probably disown his children if they did that. Just culturally. That's, that would be my best guess. And so um, he thinks it's perfectly okay to assign me work right after I come back from the lunar eclipse. He says, oh, just do your best. I know you're going to be tired. And um, yeah. And um, so my eating is out of whack. My sleeping is out of whack. I'm not, I, I, I would love to be able to go home on time to go on a date with myself. And to top it off, he gives me two hours on a Saturday. And... I'm thinking to myself, that's it. I'm going to take charge of my eating first. And so I, I woke up, I wasn't hungry, and I decided to bring my food to the tutoring center. And um, I ate during the classroom time. And to my surprise, I was thinking if my boss is going to reprimand me for that, that would be a great time for me to sit down. Hey, thanks for bringing this up to our attention. I, 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 I Actually, I was hoping we would talk about this. Uh... Two years ago, I was recovering from a binge eating disorder, and, um, you know, I, I've kind of backslid these last two months since working here, and I know it's not your fault, but because a lot of times I have to eat in preparation or coming here, even though it's not my body's meal time, and let's see if we can work something out, right? Maybe a better solution, maybe rearrange some things where it would be more pleasant for me to eat. I was hoping that kind of discussion would come up, but you know what? I didn't even have to do it. In fact, my boss called me Teacher of the Week and complimented me for stuff that I had done um, in the classroom. And then I sent off an email explaining why, um, you know, I, I love those two students I work on Saturday. Why don't we work this through and um, maybe in future Saturdays, why don't we try to shoot for at least four hours? Because you know what? I only get Saturday and Sunday off, and if you give me two hours on Saturday morning, it kind of just, uh, uh, it, it, you know, it it, it becomes an, uh, an an anchor that I, I can't really. Uh, it takes a big bite out of the weekend, right? And that, that that's how I put it. And that was good. Now you know what? It's one thing that I ate yesterday, but there's another good feeling that I got today. Is day I want to say the third day of this um, quiet quitting. 
or maybe I should call it quiet rule breaking. It's not really quitting. I, I still love my students. But today when I got up, for the first time in a long time, I felt comfortable going to work, just knowing that I can eat when I need to. It uh, took a lot of stress off of my shoulders because that was the main barrier. That um, every morning I got up, I had to choose between breaking the fast at 12 hours or going for a 20 hour fast, right? Now I can go for my 16, 17, 18 hour fast. I, I have that choice again. And um, it, it, it really, a big piece, a big, big, big relief just washed over my shoulders when I got up today. Now there's another problem that I really have at my workplace is that I'm so glad election season is over. The discussions about politics really drove me insane. I mean, because we have so much disagreement there. Now, to be honest, I contributed to that. So one time, um, I tutor in math, and one time I overheard one of the other tutors talk about um, there was a math problem involving some money. This, uh, uh, I was talking about if the sandwich cost $10 or something, it was a math counts problem from years past. And the, the other tutor wanted me to take a look at this problem. He was a little bit unsure about something. And when I looked at it, it said that the sandwich was $10, and I looked, it was from 1996. And I said, wow, that's an expensive sandwich. That's like $60 in today's money. I was thinking about shadow stats, which I follow a lot. And I, and uh, so I, I thought it was around 67. I, I plugged it into shadow stats. It was around that. And my colleague disagreed with that, and he went on a rampage about people like me, gold bugs like me, are, are scaring everybody out of their minds and all that. To be honest, I, I, I contributed to that somewhat. But you know what? I, I'm, I'm just not very good with talking about stuff like that. I, I, need, to, I need to... But I'm so glad... I, I need to control myself too. But I'm so glad election season is over because that was, that, that was a main uh, problem for me. Now, today when I got to the office, I had a little bit of a problem. I hate going into the office early. If I have a student at 2 o'clock, I show up at 1.59. Sometimes 1.59 in 30 seconds. Because I really hate chit-chat. The water cooler kind of talks always throw me and I always worry about saying the wrong stuff and it always causes my heart to beat out of control when I talk about water cooler kind of stuff, right? And um, earlier today I got to the office at a time just like that and my boss was, said he was very concerned and he had been calling me and uh, I was on the road obviously so I didn't answer the cell phone. He, he wasn't sure if I was going to show up and stuff like that. I, I'm going to have to think about how to handle go into the office either five minutes early and ignoring him or ignoring the water cooler and maybe put on headphones or find a way to, to let him know that, you know, due to some personal problems, that, that's the kind of time that I like to show up, right? I'm going to have to think about that. Maybe I could bring up my, uh, that I'm on the spectrum and that uh, those chit chats are not very uh, conducive to, to keeping my energy levels up. Because sometimes I go to the office five minutes early and there's a lot of that water cooler talk. My my heart races out of control, and it feels like before my work has even started, I've already drained 20% of my battery. That's how it feels oftentimes. I'll have to think about how to, how to resolve that. But now that I've quiet quitted, it, 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 and I felt so good about today, um, and so, uh, like for three weeks, I've been having to choose between 12 and 20 hour fasts, and I, I, neither of those choices are ideal for what I'm doing. I don't have to make that choice anymore, and I, I just feel like a big piece has washed over me. Now, if my boss ever complains, I also have a good response to that too now, so I feel very armed, if you will.